most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Sharp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to show you how to decompress the spine for back pain. It's a kind of a form of traction without equipment. Right. And you can do it in 60 seconds. Right. So we're going to show you three different options. Um, do you mind if I start with this one, Brad? Sure. So this yeah. would be like if you went up to the back of a park bench that was maybe cemented into the ground or very solid. Right. You know, you're, on, you're in the park. You're walking around the trail maybe. And uh, you can just go up to it, put your palms forward like this, or palms back. I'm sorry, palms back. Right. And you're just going to – you don't have to completely pick your feet up. You just bend your knees and let your back sag. Right. So you, you really have to learn core control with right. this. If if it's painful and you're doing this and it's and it's painful and you're contracting because of the pain, you may not be it's, it's not, not doing right. any help. Yeah, you you've gone too far. Yeah. But what's nice about this, you can it's pretty easy to do for like twenty seconds. Yep. You can do another twenty seconds, relax, and then do a third twenty seconds. But this might give you enough relief for you to walk maybe you know, a half mile or a mile, right. and maybe you'll find another bench, and yep. you can make your way around the park. You know, the whole key to treating back pain, Sadika, is we always like the movement. Remember, walking is really good. Right. So if you can intersperse some traction in there, that's going to be very helpful. And again, I can't emphasize it enough. When you do the traction, it should feel relief. Yes. Uh, particularly if you're having some pain going down the leg and you do that and that leg pain goes away, boy, do then it more you're often. Then you're golden. Yep. So uh, which one do you want to do next, Brad? Do you want to do the countertop? Yeah. Okay, yep. since I'm here. So this is one you can do at home. It's great if you have a countertop that runs this way and then runs this way. So you have an L shape, basically. Right. We a don't corner. have one, so we made a mock one here. But yeah. that corner, I've done this with a lot of patients. They'll go up into their in their house and they'll do exactly what Bob's going to show. Right. So you can do this one of two ways. One, you can go back up to the corner mm -hmm. and lean like this. And again, I got the palms facing away from me and I'm kind of off. I guess you could do it either way, like this or this way. Whatever you're more yeah, comfortable whichever with. Whichever you're more comfortable with. You bring your legs out like this and now just let your back relax. This is a great way to do right. this. This is really comfortable. If you didn't feel comfortable putting your legs out yeah. in front of you, you could just bend you can your leave knees them back. until yep. you get used to it. Yeah, because I don't want you to do this, and then all of a sudden your hand slips or your leg gives a yeah. arm way. You can also turn and face this way. Same thing, however most comfortable for you. And, again, bend the knees. One thing that I do mention it. to my patients is if you lock your elbows out, if you're tall enough, it's a lot easier yeah. on your arms. And if your arms are bending like this, you're going to get fatigued. Yep. You want to lock the arms. Yep. So. so feel comfortable with it because if you don't relax and let that traction occur, you won't get the benefits. So, again, wait for it. should feel good, good relief, 20 seconds. Well, Brad, why don't you show a safe way, um, especially if you can get down on your knees this is a, a good one to start for some people who maybe don't feel comfortable right. standing and leaning against something like that. Or if you don't have the inside corner, right. sometimes this works better. Now, with this, we're, I'm going to do, well, I'll just show you first. But when you get down on your knees. You can put a pillow down there. By sure. The yeah, good you, idea. Protect your knees. Be nice to yourself. On carpet, it's not a problem. But I'm going to get down like this. See how he's keeping I'm not, good I'm not posture. Bend over. Yep, he's keeping good posture on the way down. There we go. And some of you are forced to do that already. Some of you know that. Yep. The way the back feels. And now I'm just going to push up. You can't see it, but now there's no pressure on my knees. You can see I'm wiggling the pillow. Yep. And I'm just going to relax. Again, I'm going to see if I can lock my elbows out, and it's easier on my arms. I'm just going to hang out here. It's going to feel nice and good and good traction. It, this works out really well for me because it's just about exactly the right height. And I'm five foot ten, and these are standard chairs. I believe seventeen inches is. I've done it there. myself though too. It still works for me. So. Um, so and then when you get up, make sure you know you can use the armrests. You've got those to get up yep. with that good posture. Nice and good posture. Right. So those are three options for you. We're going to show you three pieces of equipment that you can use to do traction on your back. They do a better job, right? Um, uh, but they do cost you money. Right. So check out the next that next video. Thanks for watching.